The most common target of hackers is Windows users. It's not just because Windows has weak security, but due to the large number of Windows users, the chances of users getting infected become high. But no need to panic. In this video, we'll walk through some Windows 11 security settings that'll turn your PC into a digital fortress. The most basic and crucial thing to keep your Windows 11 PC secure is regularly installing updates. When Microsoft detects any flaws in the operating system, they release security updates. These updates fix vulnerabilities in your system that hackers could exploit to enter your PC. So it's essential to install updates regularly. Enable the option to get the latest updates as soon as they're available to ensure prompt installation. Next, let's check Windows security. Head to Virus and Threat Protection. If you've installed any third-party antivirus software on your PC, it'll show up here taking control of safety. Go to Settings and make sure all the features are turned on. You'll find the Controlled Folder Access option here, which stops unfriendly applications from accessing your folders. Turn on this feature and add your sensitive data folder to it. You can allow an application to access your controlled folder, and if an app is being blocked and you think it's genuine, add it to the allowed app list. Now let's check the scan options. Here you get the quick scan which scans your system drive and memory areas quickly. The full scan checks your whole system for viruses, so run it at least once a month to ensure your PC is virus free. Another worth checking scan option is the offline scan. Some nasty malware hides in your system directory. An antivirus software can't identify the virus when your system is running. For such malware, use the offline scan. When you run it, your PC restarts, and the scan starts without loading the whole operating system. Once the scan is complete, your PC starts. In Windows Security, you'll see some other features. Some might not be enabled or require your action. It's best to activate all these features as they are useful. App and browser control prevent the download of potentially unwanted apps. Another feature, device security, is turned off, so let's enable it. Memory integrity prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes, making it an essential feature as it blocks most malware from entering your PC. In the Account Protection tab, you can see your Microsoft account and the dynamic lock. Clicking on the dynamic lock takes you to the settings. This feature automatically locks the PC when you are away, helpful in case you forget to lock your device. In the firewall, ensure all firewalls are turned on. Here you can see an option to block all incoming connections, stopping hackers from reaching your PC. However, if you have applications that require incoming connections or do work needing incoming connections, it won't work. So decide whether to enable this option or not. Next, in App and Browser Control, go to Reputation-Based Protection Settings to enable phishing protection. Enable all these settings as they are essential for the security of your PC. Isolated browsing runs the browser in a safe and isolated environment, preventing malicious software from reaching your valuable data. Click on Install Microsoft Defender Application Guard. In Device Security, enable Data Encryption. This option prevents unauthorized access to your device if it is lost or stolen. Called BitLocker, this feature encrypts your data, preventing access by using the hard drive in another PC. It is a must-have security feature for your Windows 11 PC. The main problem users face with BitLocker is the loss of the recovery key. The best thing you can do is to back up the key with your Microsoft account. This way, you don't have to look elsewhere for the recovery key. The next thing you should do is go to Settings and the System. Then open Remote Desktop and simply disable Remote Desktop as you don't want anyone to get access to your computer. The next setting you should check is the sign-in options. Here, you should strengthen the password or PIN. The password should be a mixture of small and capital letters, numbers, and special characters. Another thing I would like to tell you is that you shouldn't use the default administrator account for everyday use. Whenever malware enters, and it is your administrator account, it doesn't need any permission to run. So it's best to create a standard account and use it for daily tasks that don't require administrator permission. To do that, go to the Accounts tab in your settings. Click on Other Users, then add an account. Now fill in the details.
Once the user is added, expand it and click on Change Account Type and make sure it is a standard account. Backup is still important even in 2024. If you back up your data in multiple offline and online locations, you will stay worry-free. When you have taken a backup of your valuable data and ransomware hits you, it won't affect you that much. You can restore the backup and keep working. So it is essential to take a backup. If you don't want to back up the whole system, you can take backup of very important files in multiple places, such as an isolated drive or on a cloud storage that comes with ransomware protection. On Windows 11, you can take a backup with OneDrive using Windows Backup or on an external drive with file history. So use these settings to secure your Windows 11 and don't forget to take backups. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.